So one of the biggest things that actually stops us from getting ahead in the markets is fear, right? Fear, 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 fear. What if the market crashes? What if it doesn't crash? What's going on? How, I'm, I'm confused. The market's so volatile. Let's actually, uh, what I want to do is I want to take off the, the blinders, the blinkers for you. And today I want to share with you how there is so much power in the chart. And I'm going to talk about the different crash, the different major crashes we've actually had in history, 1929, 1987, and how just by really forgetting all the noise and letting the fear take control, how can we just utilize some simple techniques that really do make a massive difference in our lives when understanding, are we about to see a crash? Is there a potential of a down market? So that's what I want to share with you. So let's get straight into it. Don't place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Alrighty traders, so before I start guys, uh, if you'd like to learn how I actually trade the markets, how I scan the markets, how I find my trades, how I find what I call my A plus quality trades that gets over a 90% success rate, I'm running a webinar today guys. First link in the description, click on that, go, go register for my webinar and I'll teach you all the details how to find, scan and also identify amazing high quality trades, powerful trades that can get over a 90% win-loss ratio. First in the description there, guys, go join my webinar that I'm running today. So, let's go look at this here, right? So, uh, I personally take a lot, as you can see, look at this here, I have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of screenshots of different trades and different things and different things I've done in the past, right? Do you guys take, take, do you guys take a lot of screenshots? Anyway, so let me bring this one up. Let me actually copy this for a minute and let me go over to this one here. So, we're gonna look at this one here. And I'm gonna, this is my good old PowerPoint. Rule number one is trend. The trend is your friend until the end, guys. Um, I promise you, stick with the trend. Especially the higher time frame trend, by the way. Bit of a bit of a side note before I get into today's update. If you trade, whatever, if you're trading a daily chart, guys, always look at the weekly chart major trend and trade with that. You'll have a much more happy trading career. Anyway, so we look at this actual chart through here. So one thing that the stock market does, right, and I know this sounds really, really simple, but one thing, one thing the stock market does is this, is the stock, for people that don't know about the market itself, they're very, 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 very confused, right? It's like, um, like if you've been trading the markets now for two or three or four, or even five years, you've probably gone, you've probably gone around the world a couple of times or maybe more, right? Is that a song? Um, <laughs> and the purpose of me saying that, right? If you've gone down the indicator role and stochastics and MACDs and swing trading divergence and, and, and uh, reports and all this sort of stuff, right? And you're like, and John, I'm still confused. Welcome to the club. So was I. That's what led me down a rabbit hole. But... Thanks to me now having 20 years experience in the markets, I've just learned, you know, there's nothing really, the market just doesn't suddenly crash, right? And that's what this whole thing here is, just to give you back the power, give you back the power, right? So let's have a look at this here. So whenever we, let's actually create this really, really simple. Let's create another little slide through here, okay? So whenever we have a market in itself, uh, we have trend analysis, right? So we have market go up, <laughs> So let's draw this out for you, right? So we have market go up, market go up through there, right? Let's actually, and let's change the color. So let's say we have market go up. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna create this slide for you right now, okay? Market go up, market go up, and market go up, okay? So we have this market go up, market go up through. So now we're, we're looking at it, we're identifying an upward trend, right? And so the reason why I'm gonna be using this example, and you can flip it upside down for the bearish side, but the reason I'm gonna be using, using this as, as an example is to teach you and show you, because obviously market crash is, down, right? So we want to identify, is there a potential market crash? So let's actually draw this through here, through the here, and let's actually bring up, I'm going to copy paste that again, but now I'm going to change you to red, right? Can we actually do a, can we actually do a bit of a presentation live in front of you guys? Cool. Let's do this here, right? So, and now look what we have here. Ah, what do we have? Nice little, nice little upward trend, right? Nice little upward trend through there. Yeah, we go, right? There we go, another, another nice little smooth, nice, another nice little move to the upside, right through there. And let's just do another one through there, right? So another one through here. Let's just say the market does that through there. And let's say the market comes through here, right? So what do we have here? What do we have so far? We have what? And we have, and I know this sounds really simple guys, but watch, I'm, gonna, I'm doing this right in front of you right now as a bit of a teaching video. Okay, firstly, this is how you identify the trend. Secondly, you start to see when the trend starts to change, one of the most important things to say, you know what? 
we are no longer in an upward trend. So if we're going to see a downward phase, now it doesn't mean we're going to crash, but it just tells you that we need to be alert, right? So let's actually go to, let's go to no fill in. Uh, let's go to outline. Uh, let's go to no fill. There we go. All right, cool. And let's, yeah, let's actually do that, right? So what do we have here? We have low, and then we have another higher low. Another, oh, there we go, back there. Another higher low, right? And then now we have what? Another higher low, right? So we have higher lows in place. So as long as the market continues to make these higher lows, then the market is still in an upward trend. Now, you may be thinking, no, dirt, John, you wasted five minutes of my life to tell you that. Hold your horses, right? Hold your horses. Let me explain something here, all right? So, but what happens if for some reason, the next leg down is like this? And what that is, is a, woo, let's go here, all right? So let's go insert a bit of fun here with you guys, right? A little bit of a, okay, cool, there, right? So what that is, is that that's now a breaking of a low. Remember I said before that, now, as long as the market's making higher lows, the market's in an upward trend. If the market changes the tune, and let's bring on a good old purple, and let's make you a lot thicker, and let's make you a bit, let's make you dash. All right, dash purple, dash purple. So if we actually break the low here, then what does that tell you? That tells you, because remember guys, remember, you and me are not, we, we don't move this market around, right? Not you, not me, not a collective of us. We're like a little fly poo. <sighs> Trillions of dollars are flowing through all these markets, right? Cryptos and especially foreign exchange, right? And then you've got commodity prices and gold and stocks. It's so much money flows through this. So you and me, we're a little fly poo. But let's look at this here. So, so we identified this level through here, right? And this is the reason why guys in my trading system, again, that first thing in the description, go join my webinar. In my trading system, out of the four rules, the very first rule is what I'm teaching you here right now because it's so powerful. Anyway, back to, the, back to the topic at hand. So we have this level through here. So now we've actually broken the low. What does that mean? It means that the market is no longer in an upward trend. Okay, cool. So now, this could either mean it's likely to go sideways or we could actually start to see a, down, a downward trend. And then what can actually happen sometimes is that the market will then get what? The market will then go for a rally to the upside and then it will start to see a movement on the downside. But what was the warning to say, oh, if I'm long this market right now, this market could be rolling over and we could be getting ready for a downside. Now I know this, what was the warning sign? The warning sign was what? This one right here, okay? And I'm going to make that a lot. I'm gonna make you, let's make you, all right, let's make you, we'll go red, right? And let's make you a lot thicker, just a lot thicker. That's what she said. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> anyway, back at, the, back, at the, back, at the, back at the educational video for you guys. All right, so we have higher lows through here, okay? Then we break a lower low. Now, what is this one? This is a trend change warning, right? A trend, a trend change warning. So the trend change warning simply says, okay, we could be getting ready for more downside to come. And this way, guys, that we let's actually take the power back here, right? There's there's this whole world of trading. It's actually not that complicated. Once we can start to remove the, uh, but. Once we can start to remove what we think, right? A lot of the times when we go to the markets, we think, oh, the professionals, blah, 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 or all this. We th what a lot of the stuff that we think is actually completely wrong, right? So now then this trend change warning then starts to make what? Then comes up, then now makes a lower high, and then now guess what? Now we're in a downward trend, right? And then the market goes down. Now this, there's no guarantees that this market is going to crash here. No, it could just be in a downward trend. But let's go apply that same analysis to all of the markets. Now I'm gonna create, I'm gonna copy this, and I'm gonna to go to, this is 1929 crash. What did we have here? Look at this here, hey, easy. There we go, right? See that lower low, what is that? That's that lower low from what? Let's do another one. So now we had a lower low, 
lower high, and then this is the 1929 crash. So I know that sounds really simple, but guess what? That's that low through there, right? There we go. There we go. Uh, hey, are you going to do it for me? No. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. So that's that low. It created a lower low, lower high, and then the and then the then the severe crash happened. Let's go look at the 1962. All right. I'm going to copy paste where the low broke it. Look at that there. That was a low, a slight lower low. But look what happened. Came up, made a what? Lower high. And then we had the big move down. 1966 crash. Look at this one here. This one here was definite like a real spot on, right? Look at this here. So we had what? We had a lower low compared to this low here. And let me make you circle that low there, right? So higher low, lower low. What do we have here now? We now have what? We now have lower high. Let's continue on here. 1987 crash. What do we have here? We had, we didn't have a, or we, we had this one here, wasn't a lower low, but it actually started to create this pattern here where it created a lower high, a low, uh, so uh, it created a high low, but then it created a high, a, a, a lower high. And let me copy paste you over here. And it broke the low. So lower highs breaking the low. Who's, who's in control through here now? Who's definitely in control at this point right here? All right, this point right here. Now the sellers, right? Because now we're in a downward trend, right? We're in a downward trend. High, low, lower high, and then the big drop. And then look at that there. 1980. Oh my goodness, 1987 came out of nowhere. 2008. Mr. 2008. Let's, 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 I, I need another red circle. Let's go 2008. 2008 did what? It created a, at least this point through here, right? Dropped a major lower low. Then created a lower high. It actually even started back here as well too, right? As you can see, like look at this here, it started creating lower highs back here. But a significant lower low, lower high, and then guess what? The big crash was where? The real real big bang was there, wasn't it? Right, the bit, that, that that's where this right here was the, was the big bang. Can I make that thicker? Anyway, you see what I'm getting there, right? So this here was when, oh my goodness, market's falling off a cliff. Da, 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 da. Like, it's like, look at this here, market go down. COVID, look at this here. Now, what, what did COVID do? Good old COVID. Now, by the way, guys, COVID is anomaly. You can't really add COVID in there, but look what COVID did. What did COVID do? It actually created a double top, but look what happened. It broke the low, right? Broke the low. It didn't create a lower high, but as soon as it broke that low, guess what? You're saying, oh my goodness, it's over. Let's go and then look at the, let's look at one of the last uh, crashes through here. And this is where, guys, the chart is your friend, right? What's that there? What is this here? It's a what? It's a lower low. And now that's a low, lower low. And now look what happened. Came up, made a lower high. That's pretty much there. Look at that there. Remember I said before, like, let's go back to this diagram here. Lower low, lower high, and then the bear market starts, then the downside starts. Now again, it doesn't mean this is when the crash is gonna happen, but guess what? This is when you actually start to utilize, okay, if there is something gonna, if there's something gonna happen, like right now as I'm doing this recording, if you look at the markets, if you're worried about a significant crash suddenly happen overnight, that is just off a fear or off a thinking, or and that is not reality, right? The reality is that the market doesn't just go straight down. It may have a really sharp drop in the market, but to really have a big crash, which I don't think we're going to, we're going to start to see what? We're gonna to start to see this. Again, doesn't mean we're going to crash, we could just have a down, nice downward trend. By the way, traders, what is a crash? The crash is what? Just a down, no, this is 2008, right? It doesn't look too bad. Like, oh my goodness, global financial crisis, the market is over, that's it, the market, everything's dead. Everything's dead. That doesn't look like much, does it, now? Because why we're removing the emotion, I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, this was 2008 stock market crash, was 2008, 365 days, not one day, two days, one week. It wasn't COVID, right? COVID was a black swan that happens once, in every, once every 100 years. But now looking at the crash here, look at the year, look what we're seeing through. Low, lower, high, and then away we go from there. And then we see with Bitcoin, Bitcoin crashed, and as you know, Bitcoin came down through here. And then it did nothing for a while, people went quiet, and then now we had the very big moves to the upside. So if I utilize, if I go back to this chart here, look at this chart here. As we can see, look at this here. 1929, lower low, lower high, downward trend. 
lower low, lower high, downward trend. 1966, lower low, lower high, downward trend. 1987 created a higher low, but then it created a lower high, and then we started the CAC. 2008, and also the Bitcoin market as well too. So if you are fear of having a crash, and you're worried, we have the power in our hands, and it's not from a secret report, or what Russia's doing, or this secret long-term insider, or da 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 No, 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 no. Let's bring back the, uh, as you can see, right? So what is our job? Our job is as the market is moving and starting to create, as, as the market moves and creates these patterns, guess what we should be doing? We should be completely 100% focused on this one thing and again guys that's where like for me personally with my with my trading system when it comes to my a quality setups again guys that first thing in the description go join my webinar that i'm running today um and you will be able to see exactly what my why my trading system is is so high probability rule number one is this then i'll start to look at rule number two three and four and like oh my goodness when you start to combine those four simple things but that's the reason why guys off the back, this is the reason why it's, it's a foundation to having a really successful trade for me. Because I'm t this here, guys, is what, remember, at the end of the day, the bottom line is this. You and me, we do not move the market. But the chart is like a footprint of what the collective of, of what the collective is the, of the market is thinking and feeling. Now we can go really deep into this market, like really, really, really deep about chart reading techniques and all that sort of stuff. And I do that in my trading course. That's second link in the description there. Um, especially in part number two and three, I talk about like chart reading mastery and different things you can utilize there. But the power is in our hands because all it is, it's just what we're doing here, guys, when we're, when we're reading the market, we're reading what the big boys are starting to think and feel, right? And that this is this is sort of like a foundations of the trend analysis. Then we can start to look at other things, laying it up to a bit more advanced type of techniques to really start to really get a good understanding like, oh, look here. You know, the buyers used to be strong, but now, now we're actually really, really slowing down here or we could be getting ready for a change or all these sort of things. So the whole purpose of this video, guys, is to give you back the power, give you the power. So if you're worried about a stock market crash, or if you think about loading up on some put options or shorting the markets because you think the market's gonna go to custard, right? No, 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 no. Step back, step back, step back, step back, step back, step back, right? Um, the market doesn't work like that. The market will start to give us some sort of warning sign first. As you can see, all the major crashes in history, especially the really big ones, 08, Bitcoin, 1929, 1987, the, the market starts to give us some form of a warning sign that we may not go through. We, we, don't know if, we don't know if a crash is going to happen, but it starts to say that, hey, we are no longer in an upward trend anymore and the big boys are starting to sell this off for a reason.